All right, first things first, I sound terrible. I'm not sick. I don't know what's going on. My throat just sounds weird. Uh, you have an iPhone or an iPad. You don't have a sophisticated mirrorless camera or a DSLR. And you want to plug that iPhone or iPad into your A10 Mini and use it as a camera. Now, what you're going to find is you can't just plug your USB-C or your lightning cable into the A10 Mini through the USB-C port on the A10 Mini. It's not how it works. You're going to need an HDMI connection, which is tricky because these don't have HDMI ports, so you need adapters. So basically, what we're going to do here is we are going to test some uh, a newer iPhone with USB-C. We're going to test an older iPhone with lightning. We're going to test an iPad with uh, USB-C where you have some adapters here. I have this random adapter that I just found in my drawer of cables. It's made by a company called Basius, Basius or whatever. It's just one of these, you you know, like USB-C to like whatever breakout dongles that you buy, um, you know, with your 2018 MacBook that has absolutely no ports on it. You probably have about a thousand of these laying around. And then also we have this little guy, this cute little HDMI adapter made by Apple. This is the Apple branded one. Uh, it's just lightning to, to uh, HDMI, and then it has a lightning power pass-through, so you can still charge your device as you're outputting HDMI. So basically what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to use these adapters with these devices, um, and we're going to get them plugged into the A10 Mini. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's going to be so simple. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. Let's get into it. All right, to set up this connection on your phone, what you're going to need to do is download an app. It's free called Black Magic Cam from your app store. Gonna scroll over after you have it downloaded. Let's uh, open it up. Here, the default view is gonna be your camera, but we're gonna come down here to settings. And in your settings, you're gonna scroll down till you see uh, under monitor HDMI out. We're gonna click that. By default, this is probably gonna be on mirror display, but what we wanna do is click video feed. And we're just gonna make sure that clean feed is on. Now what this is gonna do is send a clean raw HDMI feed right out of your phone whether that's through the lightning adapter or the USB-C adapter, this setting applies for both, into your ATEM. And then what's really cool is you can limit the monitoring to HD. So this just knocks down the resolution to high definition 1080p. But we want the full kind of uh, uh, feed going out of our camera. So I always like to just hit video feed and then clean feed and then leave it at that. And that's how you set up your iPhone or your iPad uh, to clean feed HDMI out into your A10 Mini. So after you have your uh, camera app set up to display clean HDMI out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your device and then plug the adapter here. I'm gonna use an iPhone 11. This is an older iPhone with a lightning cable. So I'm gonna plug my lightning adapter into here. I'm gonna plug my HDMI cable into the adapter. Um, I'm gonna wake my phone up and you're seeing on this monitor right here that um, I'm seeing a camera input, uh, which is just my phone screen. So what we wanna do is navigate over to the Blackmagic app. And after we have it set up, like I said, um, you can then use it as a camera input. It's clean HDMI out, which is definitely what you want. If you don't have it clean, then it's gonna show all the camera controls and be all weird. Uh, that's not what you want. So you can see here, I can use my regular 26 millimeter or my um, 0.5 uh, 13 millimeter uh, lens because on the iPhone 11 there's two lenses on there. So obviously my iPad is USB-C so I'm not going to use this lightning adapter. So this is just an iPad mini. I'm going to plug the iPad mini into the adapter with USB-C. Cool. We've done this a billion times like with your with your computer or whatever. Um, you probably displayed to a TV or whatever. So it's the same thing. We're just going to go to uh, the iPad, you can see it's popping up here, and then I'm gonna go to my Blackmagic camera app. Boom, same thing, look at that, clean HDMI out. Um, I don't have uh, any lens options besides the front camera and just the singular camera on the back of the iPad here. So yeah, cool. Since it's the same connection with my iPhone 15 Pro, USB-C on the bottom, I'm gonna use the same adapter, plug it in, wake my phone up. You can see here, I have clean HDMI out. <clears throat> Since this is the iPhone 15 Pro, I actually have it displaying a LUT um, on the output. So yeah, that's how you do that. Super simple, super easy um, to set up your phone or your iPad as a camera input into your A10 Mini. 
Some different use cases I could see on this kind of thing is like, hey, if you're a smaller church and you don't want to shell out for a camera, but want a video switcher so you can like take in multiple inputs, you can just use somebody's phone. Or like for me, I do know how to use pro stuff, but like just having a backup is actually really nice. Like I know I can pull out my phone pop it into my ATEM or whatever, and then I can get a, a video feed. It might not be perfect, but it's better than just a black screen, right? So this is really cool. We live in a really cool world where tech just kind of works with one another and kind of the acceptance of like just, you know, smartphones and like prosumer devices. You don't need all this professional gear and like converters and like crazy like frame rate converters or whatever to just get stuff to work with one another. Maybe this gives you some ideas. Maybe it's a tip you didn't know. Maybe you didn't know it. I don't know. If you found this super helpful, go ahead and drop a like on the video. Maybe comment on a setup that you use at your church with the A10 mini or if you use your iPhone as a camera, maybe there's a tip that can help somebody else down in the comments. If you're interested in learning more about church media production, uh, everything from audio to video or whatever, um, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'd love to be a resource to you and your team. And with that, I'll catch you in the next video.